P-hat. Stand at a P-hat. Whatever your sample is, you're going to go up two standard deviations from that, that sample. Okay? And you're hoping that you're 95% you're confident that that's going to contain the true P. You don't know. You don't know if it's going to happen. Okay? It's 95% of the intervals contain that. 5% of the intervals will not. Here's your formula. Okay, all of that for this formula. P hat plus or minus ME. Okay, and ME stands for margin of error. Okay, to break that down a little bit more, P hat equals, whoops, P hat plus or minus, excuse me, P hat plus or minus two standard deviations. P hat plus or minus Z crit. Okay, Z crit times PQ over N. This is called a critical Z. We're going to talk about how to find that. Okay, we will talk about how to find that. Okay, um, and this really, this formula, we say P times Q and N, but since we don't know what P is, really, it's P hat times 1 minus P hat for confidence intervals because we don't know what P is. That's what the formula says in the formula sheet, okay? But we need it to be a p hat when we're dealing with confidence intervals. And you never know if you're going to catch it, okay? You don't know, all right? So really what we just did there, that is what we're going to do in chapter, in this chapter, okay, in chapter 8. I think it's a really good introduction, okay? It's certainly going to get us going in the right direction. And the next video will pick up with these notes, and we'll do it there, all right?